Hi folks, and welcome to the last episode of this series. I figured it's about time we gather the cards we haven't been playing the whole lot with, and uh, compose a kingdom to show off the ranks. So, let's go ahead and start with this very convenient 5-2 opening and open a courtyard. Actually, a courtyard is a pretty, pretty nice card. It uh, it draws you three cards. Well, it reads like three cards. It's actually two cards. But the top decking ability is kind of nice in many different situations. And trading post is a pretty good treasure. You can turn your starting cards into silvers. And, well, silvers are better than your starting cards. So, pretty fine one as well. Let's get a village here. And yeah, you see, uh, with the courtyard you can uh, easily open it with two terminals, one of them being courtyard, because you can top deck, save that in case of collision, you can save the other one for the next turn, which is good. And here let's take a bridge. So bridge is going to be the true hero of uh, this, this board, uh, because bridge is one of the truly best payloads in the game, and... Uh, the more bridges you have in play, the better it is. Let's play this courtyard here. And hey, we can play all the terminals, which is great. So as you can see, trading post is a way to slowly trash your starting hunts, uh, starting cards while obtaining some economy. So that's great. All right, it's about time we get some draw here. And uh, surely I'll need all the villages I, I can get. Because uh, our payload is going to be... All the payloads going to be terminal. Uh, so here let's uh, put the top deck, the bridge. Uh, the bridge and uh, action coin that. Because the probability we draw another village here is not that high. And I'd rather take the guaranteed turn and... Uh, save the bridge for the next one. Uh, so let's get the mining village. That's not the best turn as well. Uh, let's get another village and let's take a replace. So the idea is uh, we now get uh, we now got some sewers from the trading post and they're perfect target for uh, as a replace fuel. We can get more mining villages and patrols and what whatever we want. So, sure, let's get all of those. And uh, here is uh, the trick we can do. Uh, we now have a silver in hand, and uh, we can replace the silver into another patrol, and it goes on top, so we can play the village and uh, uh, save the turn, basically. Uh, also, I would really like to put a mining village and courtyard on top there would be really useful so looks great now we can already start adding more bridges but uh, not quite there yet with the draw so let's just uh, get another village and patrol in general uh, if you have some some kind of uh, mid-turn gainer like a replace in this case Generally, it's better to uh, buy the engine components earlier and uh, gain the payload mid-turn. Because, you know, payload is something you can draw dead way easily. And if you get uh, the engine components before, it increases your chances. You can play this, uh, whatever, remodeler or gainer uh, the next turn. This turn we might want to take another bridge and let's actually do that right here. The last uh, card is copper and we can play all the actions that we wanted. So great, now starting cards are gone. 
let's get more of those villages and um, this point we might just add another bridge because because now we basically want uh, as many of those as we can play So, if possible, I would like to stay to leave this uh, one village on top, just in case. Uh, we don't need this trading post anymore, so let's trash it for another bridge and draw it. Let's uh, action buy this one, play all the bridges. So, we would need to get those two mining villages. Uh, let's get another patrol say a bridge and uh, another bridge nobles should be fine as well all right uh, here just to save this turn in case it's needed let's get another patrol we can actually we can start trashing those mining villages because most likely that's just going to be the last turn. It doesn't matter, this order. So yeah, let's uh, trash the mining villages. Shouldn't have been doing that for a while, I guess. But uh, we should be fine anyway. More than that. So that's uh, action. We don't need more buys, so let's just action coin this one and play all the bridges. So, as you can see, the provinces are not as expensive as, as they used to be. On this board, bridge was without any significant support, and uh, when we have throne room or uh, king's court from prosperity expansion, it just goes crazy. And uh, well. Yeah, it's just a very good card. I definitely learned something myself while making those videos. For instance, Swindler is not so annoying uh, in intrigue-only games and that was a surprise for me. Also, Baron is pretty solid in intrigue-only games. In mixed games, it really is a uh, best payload on the board. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching.